everyone, on this episode of Courting with Kate, I wanted to do another video on dissecting an op report. I currently only have one of those videos and it seems to be getting a lot of views, so I think it might be of interest to all of you to do more of these with different types of procedures. And I think this is good to have multiple dissecting op report videos because it gives you a wide variety, but also repetition. Doing these as much as you can to practice will make it much easier once you get into the real world and coding professionally. It becomes second nature to translate all of these op reports into PCS coding verbiage. So even though we might be just pinpointing different words that mean the root operation or the approach, just seeing and doing these more often is a great tool to get better at it and feel more comfortable with it when you start to code op reports of procedures you've never even done in practice. It helps and I think doing these more often will be beneficial to you and to me because the more I do it the more I continue to be comfortable with reading op reports and seeing what information I need to code to the highest degree of specificity and detail and this one, this op report that we're doing is a little bit complicated, just a little. It's more deciphering what are we going to consider the approach? What is the main procedure? And figuring out if other parts of it are integral or should be coded separately. But we'll figure it out. And we aren't actually going to be going into the code book, we're just going to be dissecting the op report. And I will be highlighting the pertinent inf information and also giving you my rationale behind why it's important and what it translates to in PCS coding. So let's go. So our op report is mainly on the second page, but this part of the page is really good because it shows us the operation and the diagnosis, so we get an idea of the body part to body region that we are working on. But as far as the operation, laparoscopic cholecystectomy and intraoperative cholangiogram. So we know we're going to be talking about the bile duct, gallbladder, that area of the body. So we are in the digestive system. So the procedure says the patient is a 44 year old female brought to the operating room, placed in supine position and who underwent gender, general endotracheal anesthesia. After adequate induction of an anesthesia, the abdomen was prepped and draped in the usual fashion. The patient had several previous lower midline incisions and the right flank incision. Therefore, the pneumoperitoneum was created via epigastric incision to the left of the midline with a varus needle. So, so far we know that they did an incision somewhere along the lower stomach area, etc. After adequate pneumoperitoneum was created, the 11 millimeter trocar was placed through the extended incision in the left epigastrium, just to the left of the midline. The trocar was placed and the laparoscope and camera were in place. So they are using a camera, so we can assume that they are going to consider this possibly a percutaneous approach, possibly, because right now they're just talking about a midline incision with a needle. Inspection of the peritoneal cavity revealed it to be free of adhesions and an 11 millimeter trocar was then placed under direct vision through a small infra umbilical incision. So again, we have small incision and also with them using the laparoscope. I'm going to stick with percutaneous endoscopic for right now. We'll see what else they do. The scope and camera were then moved to this position and the gallbladder was easily visualized. So we know they're looking at the gallbladder at the moment, but so far they're just inspecting. So right now our body part could be gallbladder unless they move on to a different body part to actually do some of the work. We will see. The gallbladder was elevated and Hartman's pouch was grasped. Using a combination of sharp and blunt dissection, the cystic artery was identified. The gallbladder was somewhat tense and actually inflamed. Therefore, a needle was passed through the abdominal wall into the gallbladder. 
and the gallbladder was aspirated free until it collapsed. Now, at this point, since they are doing a different entry, a percutaneous entry through the abdomen to the gallbladder and draining it, I don't know if we're going to consider that a separate procedure code or if that's going to be integral to this procedure. We will see. One of the graspers was held over the region to prevent any further leakage of bile. Again, direction was turned to the area of the triangle of Calot. The cystic duct was dissected free with sharp and blunt dissection. I'm just going to highlight gallbladder because we know that's one body part they're working on. And then also cystic duct. Also, they are working on... A small opening was made in the duct and the cholangiogram catheter was passed. The cholangiogram revealed no stones or filling defects in the bile duct system. So cholangiogram catheter, that is for imaging purposes. So we may possibly be doing a separate code just for that. The biliary tree was normal. There was good flow into the duodenum and the catheter was definitely in the cystic duct. The catheter was removed and the cystic duct was ligated between clips as was the cystic artery. The gallbladder was then dissected free from the hepatic bed using electrocautery dissection, and it was removed from the abdomen through the umbilical port. Okay, so they are removing the entire gallbladder. Gallbladder, dissected free, and they brought it through the umbilical port. Now we know the gallbladder is a little bit big, so we may be doing open approach, maybe. We'll have to go back and review our different approaches that we found and figure out if it's percutaneous endoscopic or open, but with the use of port, are we gonna consider that a uh, via natural or artificial opening because ports are artificial? We will see when we are done. Inspection of the hepatic bed noted that hemostasis was meticulous. The region of dissection was irrigated and aspirated dry. The trocars were removed and the pneumoperitoneum was released. The incisions were closed with steri strips and the umbilical fascial incision was closed with 2 maxon. The patient tolerated the procedure well. There were no complications. She was returned to the recovery room awake and alert. So... This one's a little tricky because I saw multiple different approaches and they were doing inspections of different body parts, but doing a more extensive procedure on the gallbladder. So this one is a little confusing, which is a great example. So let's review the highlighted areas and see if we can deduce what approach we should use. Now, she already has previous incisions so scars from incisions, and they went with a, an epigastric incision. Now, what's a trocar? Let's see what kind of equipment a trocar is. Trocar. See what they say what a trocar is. A surgical instrument with a three-sided cutting point enclosed in a tube used for withdrawing fluid from a body cavity. So a trocar is a tube with a needle on it. So they've done an incision and they put a tube with a needle, AKA trocar, into the incision. That sounding like percutaneous. Definitely sounding like percutaneous. And they put the laparoscope and camera in there. So percutaneous endoscopic. They found the gallbladder. And I'm thinking that the needle being passed through the abdominal wall into the gallbladder to aspirate it is pertinent or integral to the procedure because there's no way they can remove the gallbladder if it is big. They need to deflate it and make it smaller. So I think that is integral. So we wouldn't have to make a separate code for that. And the cystic duct being dissected, that is just to separate it from the gallbladder. Cystic duct is still hanging out there because they're putting the catheter in to do the cholangiogram, which will be part of the imaging PCS code. And then they remove the gallbladder through the umbilical port. Now, where else did they talk about, how did they get a port in there? What are they considering a port? 
Are they considering the trail car with the needle as the port? That seems kind of small. I'm going to assume the port is their initial incision. They've done whatever to stabilize it so they can pull out the gallbladder without ruining any tissue around that incision. So I'm going to say with this procedure, the body system is digestive system. Root operation is resection because they're taking out the entire gallbladder. Not part of it, all of it. That would be considered a resection. Our body part, gallbladder. Approach, percutaneous endoscopic. I'm gonna say that because they talked about the trocar, which is the needle and the tube, and then they brought out the gallbladder through a port. They didn't say anything else about visually with their eyes seeing the gallbladder. They were using that laparoscope that went through the trocar incision, that area. No device was used. They're just taking out the body part. The catheter they put in for the cholangiogram was removed right away when they were done. That isn't something that is permanently staying there after the surgery, so no device. And I don't think there will be a qualifier. I don't think. I haven't seen anything that would indicate a qualifier or more information would be needed. So that is what I'm saying for this procedure. So that op report was a little tricky just because I was having difficulty deciphering if it was percutaneous endoscopic or if there was a separate code for a different approach when they talked about the umbilical port. That was a little bit tricky for me, but I'm still dead set on for sure. Your main PCS code is going to be a percutaneous endoscopic approach. No matter what, that was the main one that I saw, given the words we were seeing as far as the incision and looking at what a trocar is, which helped us further define what that approach was. Other than that, it was pretty straightforward of what they were doing. Yes, they were inspecting, but with PCS coding, we know that if there is inspection happening and then they move to a more complex procedure or root operation or objective of the procedure, then you wanna go with the more complex one and not code inspection. So we will not be coding inspection in this one because they were just looking around the area, but overall they were going to be taking out the entire gallbladder, aka resection. So they are resecting the gallbladder. That was their main objective. That's what they did. And other than that, it wasn't too bad. If you have any questions on this procedure of with any of my rationale or any words or phrases you saw in the op report that I did not cover, please let me know and I can give a more in-depth explanation of what it means or why it was not important. If I don't know the answer, I will find it on the internet or I will talk to the coders to get a better answer for you. If you have any other procedures or op reports that you've come across in your schooling, please send me a copy of that so I can go through it and then make a video on it if you are having difficulty with it or if I think it's really interesting. So let me know if you have any fun op reports or complicated op reports that you just don't get. Let me know and I will do a video on it and I will try my hand at coding it and dissecting it. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. You will get notifications on all the videos that I post so you're always in the know. We cover ICD-10-CM, ICD-10-PCS, and CPT and other medical coding topics or medical healthcare topics. And also, like this video if you liked the Dissecting Op Report and you want to see more of these. And again, comment below and let me know if you do want to or you have ideas of procedures. I want to know. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!